What is up guys, the Doubles back here with a brand new video, and today I just gotta say, Ascension has finally teased a couple days ago what they're going to be making their next announcement on, which is going to be, as far as I can see, League 4. Now, the Malganus era, known as League 3, was one of the best eras of Ascension history. I remember I rated all the way up to Nax, I was really in it, I was making all sorts of build videos, I really enjoyed the game at the time, you guys seemed to as well. The community was pretty lit, and here's what I've gotta say, I'm excited, I wanna talk about it today, and so we're gonna look at what they tease and what I want to do is ponder a bit today on what it's going to be and what I'd like to see so hope you guys enjoy the video and let's jump right in I don't know what's happening to me. I don't know why I'm on Twitter, but I am on Twitter. I've been doing it a little bit just because I found it interesting. It's a little new toy for me, you know? And I was like, okay, fine. I'll like surf through what's going on with Ascension. And I actually discovered something video worthy. And this makes me think, oh, I should get on Twitter just a little bit more often. Maybe instead of every three months, I post some cringe. I get on every day or every couple days, you know? I don't know. The point is though, they gave us this post on May 15th. Currently chopping up a new video, hacking away at some bugs and wearing overalls. Now, admittedly, at first glance you're like who gives a crap <laughs> you know what i mean like that's just to be real and then you look over here and i see if it's another how to play a league character vid i'm going to vomit and i think well that's really mean for no reason i would love to see a how to play a league character vid and then they say it is how to play league and i think oh damn okay that's actually good news now i don't really understand what's going on right here but i guess i'll read it out to you because there should be more conversation around something like this but for some reason there's not this guy is called aggressive pair he's definitely an aggressive person he says the world chat is been laughing at most of those videos they were a cool idea at first and they are well edited but now it seems more of a meme than promotion and i can't disagree more and i also don't understand why people have to be so hateful at first glance bro like actually every video that they do for this is incredible it's one of the big reasons ascension does so well because the guy that does the voiceovers for those videos and the editing of those videos are actually really really good it's way above par for any other private server for damn sure nobody can even get close let's just make that very clear and i'm not just saying that go check any other private servers videos and they're all just regular kind of lowish quality that's why most of them don't even do anything like ascension tries to do because they can't but ascension can and they do them really well and then ascension replies with they are a meme a meme that happens to get more views than any other content for ascension by a long shot and bring in a lot of new players and i'm like yeah exactly dude and obviously they're trying to be as nice as possible here but it's like it's not even really a meme it's really really good content super helpful stuff now if you guys remember correctly ascension actually had their original channel brought down by blizzard so they do have another channel it only has two videos the release of season eight and then the release of chapter two season eight people were obviously hyped for season eight massive views but even on the smaller one for uh chapter two 30 000 views in the private server scene i would know it's actually a pretty freaking big deal our scene and niche is small the majority of wow players don't mess with it people outside of world of warcraft don't tend to even know it's there or what it is or what's going on so they're not really watching so it's always just been me and these guys, all of us in this little corner down here, you know? If you get 30,000 views on a video, you're doing really good. So my point is, this is great content, really nice thumbnails. I just really like this. I just wanted to put that out there because if you're a parent or you're an older brother or something like that, right? A sibling in general, you're an older one and somebody says something about you, not a big deal. They say it about what you love though, who you love though, then it becomes a whole different story. It's like, sit down. So anyway, I just want to throw that out there. But again, the point is that they teased a league video and so that means we're going to be getting this very very soon and very specifically we're going to be getting a brand new server because that's what the league is so let's just make this clear right now what is league 4 going to be this is my hypothesis i'm not going to give you guys any knowledge that i genuinely know i don't know that much but as i told you in my previous video i have to be honest and loyal and I can't just tell you teasers and stuff that they don't want me to share yet. But in terms of what I can say based on what they've said, here's what I know. So League 4 is going to be a brand new server and this is a massive deal, dude. It's a massive deal because Season 8 has genuinely gotten very stale. I've got some video ideas for it, but even as I've been playing through it, you can tell that people are kind of done, right? You could say people are waiting for TBC, but I even don't feel like that's true. TBC, I feel like, is going to have to bring some more. So I think that League 4 is probably going to be just like 
like they did with League 3, a segue into the next big thing. It might be Season 9, it might just be Chapter 3 of Season 8, it doesn't really matter. It's gonna be them buying some time. But it's not just buying time like it's a bad thing. If it's anything like League 3, the Malganus era, it's going to be a really big deal. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun. A brand new server means a brand new economy, a brand new start, a brand new bit of progression, right? It's fresh, right? So we're gonna be able to go from the beginning once again, and if they add enough new cool stuff for us to do, that could be a very big deal. So here's some general stuff that I can talk about. I will just say that Dutch has confirmed, I don't think he would care if I said this, it's so general, right? But Dutch has confirmed to me that he does want to bring back the open world. So right now in Project Ascension, it's way different from how Ascension ever was in the past, because finally they got to a point where you could literally get from level 1 to 60 in, what, 30 minutes? Some people could speed run it in 20, the average is probably 45, but that is so intensely fast, it's not even funny. It literally means every aspect of Ascension in the open world is dead right now, except for max level stuff. And even within the confines of max level stuff, it's all typically instanced anyway, so the majority of that is dead as well. The few people that actually PvP are very insular, and there's very few of them doing it together. There's a very tiny arena scene. The competition's not really that fierce, I would say. I mean, among the people doing it, I'm sure it's fierce, but in terms of the variety and diversity of the people competing, not so fierce, right? And for somebody like me that genuinely enjoys the open world more than any other aspect of the content in this game, I would say that it's been a very, very big hit to my morale and my ability to enjoy Ascension WoW, knowing that I have to just get to 60 and just make up a build and play it and do Nax or do uh, BWL or do Molten Core for the quadrillionth time. In the old days, it was always a journey to get to that point. And honestly, in the old days, for me personally, and I'm sure you guys are gonna agree, it wasn't always one of those things where, oh, I hit 60 and now I'm actually gonna play the game. In the old days of Ascension, you might actually make it to 60 with the build, you had a lot of fun leveling, and you would re-roll. And you didn't feel bad about it. It was perfectly fine. Not every character was like, okay, I have to make sure that this build works at max level. No, actually, a lot of what made Ascension good was knowing that you're planning around the 1 to 60 journey. That's why all the different game modes were also a big deal when they came out, like Iron Man mode or survival mode, resolute mode. People used to do that stuff a lot more. Even nightmare mode, right? But now it's all super uber fast, and a lot of it doesn't really even take that much skill because power levels are so high to begin with. I mean, Iron Man mode and Ascension really doesn't mean anything compared to, like, let's say, a classic Iron Man hardcore journey, right? So I'm gonna actually pull this around full circle, right? And now we're gonna start talking about what I would actually like to see with League 4. We've identified what's going on with Ascension right now, the pitfalls of it, still a wonderful place to be with a high quality overall, but some mistakes were made. And I'd like to see those mistakes begin to get smacked away, thrown away, worked on, and iterated on, so that whatever ends up being Season 9 is killer good. So if we just analyze what I said the problems were, funnily enough, I think we can immediately identify what I would personally like to see with League 4. First of all, I'd like to see new game modes, or a new game mode. Now, this is probably the biggest thing that they could possibly do with League 4. Now, this new game mode could take many different forms, guys. It could be one new overarching game mode, kind of like draft mode or wild card mode, or it could be something more like Iron Man mode or survival mode. I really don't care, but what I'm hoping to see from their announcement video, whenever that might come out, but apparently they've been working on it now for a couple days, is something akin to a new reason to get in the game, start playing Classless WoW in a new and unique way that is genuinely fun and significantly different by the way, from what we've done in the past. Now, another thing I'd obviously like to see, considering we just mentioned it, was that I don't want leveling to take one hour anymore. I want the journey in the open world to matter. I want to level in high risk, find people in high risk, have incentive to fight in high risk. I want to get gear. I want to get a lot of XP for getting kills. I want to show that journey again. I want to personally play that journey again. I miss that. So I want high risk in the open world to matter. So they need to significantly slow down how fast people level. Now, I'm very much going to be be honest with you and say that I don't think they're ever going to get rid of XP RRs and XP pots. So I don't actually know how they're going to fix it because that's the big problem. Maybe by simply decreasing how quickly we get XP baseline, they will fix that. That might just be the way to go. And because remember, League 4 should be a new server because every other league seems to be. This is something they could genuinely do without actually affecting the main realm. It's very important to remember that the League servers really exist to begin with um, to test stuff. That's why they've always existed. They paint them really well. Don't get me wrong. They make 
it seem like it's not for that, but if we recall, Malganus era was a giant test server, really. And this has always been for the greater good. I really do believe this. I think that they do need to be able to test ideas that are really massive, and uh, how else to test them but to take thousands upon thousands of people, hype them up, throw them into a brand new server with all the new ideas, and get them going. And so in this regard, slower XP, believe it or not, McDoubles is asking for that, and brand new game modes, those are the two things I would definitely like to see. It's very pivotal to me. I do think as a direct extension of one of those two things, world PvP is just gonna open up, and I would like to see some added world PvP incentives, but I'm not really sure what they could be outside of maybe adding the tier 1, tier 2, tier 3 system to the greater world of Azeroth, the 1 to 59 journey, rather than just the max level areas. I think that could be a really good place to start. Let's keep in mind that when I made my PvP I want world PvP to exist video, you know, that actually has a lot to do with my main game, which is Ascension, because they actually have worked with me throughout the years, and Ascension is actually the only server, even including Blizzard's main realms, right, that's actually tried integrity changes, and I would say it's been a complete success. There's been nothing wrong with those changes at all. It's all been a net positive for PvP. Sometimes the only thing that really holds Ascension back is that it's high risk. I think that scares too many people. But actually, Ascension PvP outside of losing gear on death is as safe and grief preventative as humanly possible across every realm. So to me, their PvP is probably the only one from any server that actually has potential. If they slow the XP down a lot, by the way, then maybe they could go back to this idea of leveling in PvP mode gives you more XP. It's not even that controversial because Blizzard does it with their war mode, right? But that would be a really good idea, I think, as well. Now, I don't really know what a new game mode might look like. I've given you guys ideas of what I want to see in the past, but there's really no reason for me to just rehash that. So I actually think that the best thing to do would be to look at the current fad in the World of Warcraft community and make an assumption that Ascension will try something similar. So the current fad in the World of Warcraft community is clearly hardcore mode. People are trying to say that it's literally reinvigorating WoW for them and making them feel like the way they felt when they first started the game. And while I do feel like hardcore mode is actually pretty fun, I do think the penalty, I don't know that's the point, but I think the penalty is way too high. I think it doesn't fit too well in super slow versions of WoW because you get to like level 32, it doesn't seem like a big deal, right? Then you die, you lose 80 hours of gameplay. People would try to say, but that's not the point. The point is the journey. And I would argue the journey is only significant when you keep the progress. So like if you could go from hardcore to a normal character, that would be a whole different story, right? And I guess theoretically with a non-Blizzard sanctioned versions of hardcore, you can do that. But with like the upcoming Blizzard hardcore server that I'm sure is coming out very, very soon, I'm pretty sure they have this idea that when you die, you're dead, you're done. Now, with that being said, even though I'm a little bit pessimistic in that regard, because I believe that I like to actually play with people, hardcore kind of prevents that. I like to be able to relax and chill out when I play, hardcore kind of prevents that. What I do know for a fact is that I'm definitely in the minority right now, because out of everybody in the classic community, all of them seem to be addicted to hardcore mode. It's not just on Blizzard's end, it's on Turtle WoW's end as well. And we played that about a month ago. So if I had to make an assumption, the assumption would be Ascension is going to try to capitalize on that fad. Are they going to come out with a hardcore mode? If they slow everything down, it might actually work, but I'm only afraid that Ascension's a little too easy for that. Or will they just come out once again with something that's their own flair on just new game modes? I don't know, but again, that's definitely what I would like to see. What I do want to say, though, is that whatever comes out, I'm ready for it. You know what I mean? Like, I need it so badly. I've been playing a lot of Dust Cave and a lot of all these other servers, but ultimately, I yearn for new Project Ascension content on a deep level. You know, I feel like they kind of screwed me, not on purpose, they're not against me, but they never gave me Fellforge mode. I desperately wanted it, I wanted to play it again, I haven't seen it in a long time, and I just overall miss playing Project Ascension again, so if they can't give me Fellforge mode, giving me anything in this regard, giving us anything in this regard, I feel like is a super big deal, something we're all looking forward to. But let me know in the comment section below, guys, what do you think is coming with League 4, but more importantly, what do you want to see in League 4? Let's ponder it, let's see what's gonna go down when it actually happens, but also, let's talk about what we'd like to see before it happens. Maybe Ascension will look at it. Maybe there's still time. You literally never know. Plus, it might be cool if we guess in the comments and we end up being correct. But if you guys enjoyed this video, big teaser right here. Make sure to give the video a like and a subscribe. Major thanks to all the members on my channel. Love and appreciate you guys. But I'll see all of you on the next one. Big doubles out.